computer. Dope. So guys, so this is not going to be a long call at all, but it is going to be a very, very strong call. I'm truly, truly excited. You know, I'm truly, truly excited a thousand percent, Um, you know, to, you know, be here with you all, uh, to be here with you all a thousand percent. And um, today is, uh, what's today? Today is, uh, let me see on my phone. Today is Tuesday, right? Time moving back extremely fast. So yeah, so today is Tuesday. Um, but I did want to do a leadership call. I wanted to do a leadership call, you know, with you all. And, um, and I, I pretty much want to open it up to the whole organization, um, to the pretty much to the whole organization, um, to, you know, just to get you all, you know, to, to basically be able to actually expand you guys' awareness, to be able to actually, you know, uh, give you guys the direction that you guys need to be able to actually get to you, uh, get to where you want to go. And if you guys don't know, this is not a, you know, trading call or anything like that. Um, so, you know, if you're looking for the trading call, make sure that you guys tap in with Matthew there right now. Okay. So that's not a problem at all. So cool. So we're going to talk about leadership tonight. I want to talk about leadership and we're also going to talk about a couple of other, a uh, couple of other things, but uh, one thing I want to do is I want to, um, <clears throat> I want you guys to, uh, you know, really, really, uh, you know, shout out you guys self, you know, congratulate you guys self for showing up for your, showing up for yourself, you know, a thousand percent, right? A thousand percent, because, you know, some of the things that you all might have been thinking, um, yeah, some of the things that you all, some, again, shout out Aiden as well too, bro. I just saw you did a call, bro. Um, shout out to you and Turbo. I saw y'all doing y'all thing. A hundred percent. You guys should meet up in person someday soon, very soon. You know, you guys should talk about that. But um, I want to talk about a couple of things. So, um, you know, I want to talk about, and, and, and again, guys, the one thing that you guys want to know is this. You see, I've been involved in what it is that we do for the past going on three years this year, a, 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 a thousand percent. And, um, you know, I was looking at some old videos, you know, that, that, that you pretty much that was on YouTube and everything. I was backtracking my success because, you know, any, if you guys know anything about leadership, a couple things that you guys should know is, uh, you know, leadership is the highest paid position in life, right? If you guys did not know, you know, leadership is the highest paid position in life. And, 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 and the only reason I say that is because if you guys think of some of the greatest leaders in the world, you think of names like Martin Luther King, you think of names like David and Manita, you think of names like, you know, um, who else a great leader? Uh, who else a great leader? Um, who else a great leader? You think of individuals like John C. Max, or you think of individuals like LeBron, right? Like Kobe. So, I'm going to say that again. So leadership is the highest paid position in life, right? So one thing I dumbed this down to, you know, when it comes to leadership is uh, you should never become successful <clears throat> and not know how you got to a place. That's the thing. See, whenever you get to a place and you feel like you don't know, you don't know what, you know, what's really going on, you should, you should always be able to backtrack your success um, and look in the past to see how you did things in the past so you can go back and duplicate it in the future, and the only reason I say that is because, uh, you know, Warren Buffett, Warren Buffett, one of the wealthiest men in the world, you know, he said that uh, what he did to, you know, be able to create some of his success, you know, he said that pretty much he backtracked his success. You know, he go back into like the 1950s, 1930s, and he studied old magazines on, you know, um, successful individuals, you know, so he can duplicate the same things that they did, you know, in the past and the present. So that's the same thing that goes with your life, guys. What if I tell, what if I can tell you that, you know, but success is predictable, right? What if I can tell you that success is very, very, very predictable, right? And success is predictable because, you know, if you're tracking your success every day, if you're, if you're literally documenting your journey every single day, um, you should be able to go back and know how you got to a place, right? In order to actually move forward. That's the first thing that you want to understand when it comes to leadership. I need to know why, where, where I am at all times. And the second thing is I need to know where I'm going, right? I need to know where I'm, where I'm at right now. And, and the second thing, I need to know where I'm going. And I'm necessarily saying that because I'm necessarily saying that is because, you know, Riyadh had a point on a call that he made last night. He said that honor is the ability to recognize that, you know, another individual, they, they have something, they possess something that you currently don't possess, right? Honor is the ability to, to recognize, it, it goes, I have the book on my book bag, but um, yeah, honor is the ability to, 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 to pretty much recognize that, you know, another individual have something that you currently don't have right now. So you honor from a place of humility, you honor from a place of, you know, you recognize and yeah, I might not like this individual. Yeah, I might not want to, you know, work with this individual, but this individual do possess something, right, that I don't have. And that's the first thing you want to understand when it comes to leadership, because um, 
and, and, and a couple things, you know, when it comes to leadership, you know, the thing is this, a lot of individuals get in, um, you know, leadership positions, but they never study leadership. That's deep. A lot of individuals get in leadership positions, hey, a platinum 1,000, a platinum 2,000, a platinum 5,000, but they never study leadership. Yeah, you have the title, but the title doesn't make you a leader. See, it's a difference between being a leader with a, with a, with a title, and it's a difference between being a leader, um, you know, a built-up leader through time, a thousand percent facts, right? So, you know, we say it all the time. And, and, and I'm saying that to you all to, uh, you know, to let you guys know, uh, when it comes to leadership, your ability to, to, to raise to levels of hype, we know when we're talking about the business aspect is, um, it's going to get deep. I'm about to get deep. <laughs> I'm about to get deep for y'all. So your ability to, to really, you know, be able to have success in what it is that we're doing to be able to reach, you know, high levels of success. It boils down to two things, guys. Um, that's believe that's your ability to lead. And that's your ability to, uh, you know, you know, empower other individuals to believe in as, as well too and a couple of things that you guys want to know when it comes to leadership guys you know one thing um I, I did recognize is this what it is that we do is built off of two things it's built off of leadership development and it's built off of belief it's built off of leadership development and it's built off belief belief plus leadership development right? You want to have a massive organization that's going to do to the fact of how many leaders you are leading. That's, that's going to be to the, uh, through the fact of how many leaders you are empowering every single day, plus belief. That's the two things that this business boils down to because leadership plus belief creates momentum, right? Leadership plus belief creates momentum, right? Because this is the thing. If you to a place right now where you're doing everything yourself, Yes, you yes, you're great, but leadership doesn't necessarily mean that you know I do everything. Leadership basically means that I delegate responsibilities and I empower other individuals to do the things that I know I can do. Like I know I can do it, but I'm not gonna do it because that's not me being a leader, because leaders know how to empower other individuals to do the things that they know they can can do. That's another thing you have to recognize with leadership because again, a lot of individuals get in leadership roles, but they never study leadership. They never study leadership, right? And that and that's the main thing that you guys want to understand. You know, if you're talking about, you know, even doing the business aspect. Well, if I want to, you know, attract leaders, what do I have to do? You want to write this down. If you want to attract leaders, guys, you know, leaders is somebody that you don't, um, you know, so-called recruit. You know, a leader is somebody that you attracts, right? Leaders don't get recruited. Leaders get attracted. And, and you attract leaders by the person that you're becoming. This is the thing. You want to attract, and, and I'm, I'm going to break this down too. I like breaking it down like this. See, you have, I'm, I want to break it down with the, with the, with the, with the players. And I'm going to give you guys a game plan. Um, and I'm going to give you guys a game plan to, to learn how to create momentum because it's specific things that you want to know when it comes to leadership. Um, this, is, this is specific things that you want to know when it comes to leadership. See, this is the thing. You want to write this down too. You see, leaders need leadership development. Customers need customer support. So if I'm a leader, I can't develop a customer that's coming into my business and so and, and, and to the opportunity, right? I can't develop customers, right? Because if you spend 80% of your time developing customers, how are you supposed to be growing the vision of your organization? See, leaders need leadership development. And, and one thing you guys want to understand is this. Every individual that comes into your organization, you have to understand that 20% of people is going to do 80% of the work. 20% of people is going to do 80% of the work. And you have to give your energy to the, to the top 20% of the people that's under your, your wing because they're going to do 80% of the work. That's called delegation, right? So, because this thing, if you do 80% of the work and you only delegating 20% of the responsibilities, again, you're in a leadership position, but you're not studying leadership because you're doing 80% of the thing but you're delegating 20% of the responsibilities, right? This making sense, just let me know if this makes sense. Drop some tools in the chat box. If this making sense, drop some tools in the chat box, right? If this making sense, drop some tools in the chat box. If this making sense. Okay, cool. And another thing you guys want to understand is this. See, see when it comes to lead, I, I love this. See, see, when it comes to leadership, you have to understand that um, a couple of things as well too. You see, a leader sees far past um, 
just a business. This is the thing. See, a, a, a leader have a heart of gold. And a, a, a leader is a person that, you know, they don't just hit people up just because their membership goes and active. They don't just reach out to an individual when they leave the business. No. See, if I'm a leader, I'm going to have a heart for people, whether they, you know, stay in my organization or whether they leave. See, because leaders know, again, you know, leaders are great with relationships. So you can't think with the mindset that just because a person's membership went inactive, just because a person left my, my organization, that doesn't mean that we stop talking. That doesn't mean that, you know, that's my enemy now. You have to understand when it comes to true leadership, you see, you have to have a purpose when it comes to people that, you know, whether they connected with you in this season or not, that you still going to have the ability to serve them. You said the thing is this, see, leaders know how to serve very well, right? Another thing that that's a great trait of a leader. You see, um, leaders know how to um, create the momentum because think about this. Think about this. See, if you think of a great basketball player, you know, individuals like Kobe, you see, great leaders know how to produce to the point where they know how to put up points to inspire the, the, their teammates around them. This is the thing. See, Every great leader know how to put up points and, and, and create the success stories. And every great leader know how to create the momentum and put up the points to lead by example because leadership is far from you if you can't produce. You want to write that down. Leadership is way far past you if you cannot produce. If you cannot produce and put up points. See, this is the thing. You look at, You have to look at it from a sports aspect. You know, I played basketball when I was in high school. See, if you can't put up any points in, in, in the niche that you're in, leadership is far from you because leaders know how to put up points, right? Because you have to be able to lead by example to be able to set the example. But if you can't set the example, not only for yourself, but, you know, for the individuals that's following you, leadership is far away, uh, you know, past you. But again, I want to get into the five, you know, players. Um, the five, the, uh, I want to get into the fact, I want to break down this, the, uh, the uh, you know, the type of players is going to come into your organization. And I'm going to give you guys a blueprint as well, too. So you're going to have five type of people that come into your organization. You want to write this down, All right? You're going to have the one-star player, right? The, 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 can, you, can you guys hear me okay? Give me a thumbs up. Can you guys hear me okay? Okay, cool. So you're going to have five type of players that comes into your organization, right? And you want to put the focus on this, guys. You want to put the focus on this. See, you're going to have a one-star player. The, 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 the one-star player is somebody that gets started in your organization. And this is a person that, 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 that doesn't show up. This is a person that doesn't show up. You have to blow their phone up. They always got money problems. They always have problems. You know, they always complain it. That's the one-star player. And then you have the two-star player. The, the two-star players is the individual that gets started in your organization. And yeah, they show up. They show up without you having to touch. I mean, they, hold on. Hold on see. see, yeah, they show up. And um, when they do show up, yes, they show up. But, you know, the thing with a two-star player is they show up sometimes when they feel like it, right? A, a, a two-star player can sometimes be inconsistent, right? But one thing that a two-star player does is um, they definitely do show up. But, again, they sometimes they can be in, inconsistent. Sometimes they show up when they feel like it. That's a two-star player. But if you bring a whole bunch of two-star players in your organization, the thing with a two-star player is this. Two-star players don't have influence, Two star players doesn't have influence. And because they don't have influence, it takes a longer time for them to develop to the point where they can become a, a, a player to put up points, right? And then you have the three star player, guys. The three star players is, uh, you know, individuals that are, that's gonna come into your organization. And these individuals are gonna be the ones that necessarily, you know, help you, you know, go, go chairman, right? Because this is the thing, guys, you can go chairman with a whole bunch of three star players because I did that, you know, a year ago. Right. You can go chairman with a whole bunch of three star players and three star players are individuals. You know, they, they're going to come into your organization. Uh, they already have skill sets, you know, that they bring to the table, already have good communication skills. These individuals already have influence built, you know, with their networks. They have a decent social media profile. Um, these individuals listen very well. That's what three star players does. And um, three star players, they bring a high level of skill set to the table. Right. But the thing with the three and then this thing. Three-star players are very coachable, right? They are very, very coachable. But the thing with a three-star player is um, they are easily rattled under pressure. They are easily rattled under pressure. And being that they are easily rattled under pressure, you know, a blown account can put them on the sideline. Somebody leaving, you know, 
three, five, ten people leaving their business can put them on the sideline. That, that, that's what can cripple a three-star player because a three-star player doesn't really know how to deal with pressure because a three-star player, you know, haven't really experienced, you know, something like this before. That's the thing with a three-star player, right? So, and again, five three-star players in your, in your, in your, in your business, you're going to go chairman. Five three-star players in your, in, your, in your business and three-star players are leaders, right? They can become leaders. Five three-star players in your business, in your organization, you, you can go chairman, a thousand percent facts, right? It makes it way easier. It speeds up the process a thousand percent. But the thing with a three-star player is, like I said, they have influence. The thing with a two-star player is two-star players doesn't have influence on social media, right? They, they don't give out value on social media. And because they don't give out value, they have no trust with their network. And because they have no trust with their network, people don't trust them. If they and, and, and the thing with leadership is if people can't trust you, people can't trace you and if people can't trace you they're not going to listen to you that's the thing with, with a two-star player so if you a person that want to go from a two-star player to a three-star player because three because this thing three-star players is, is the ones that's going to come into your organization to go platinum 1000 in 30 days that's a fact three-star players is the individual that's going to come into your organization to go platinum 1000 in 30 days easily right two-star players can go platinum 600 but in order for a two-star player to go become a three-star player they have to they have to they have to really hit the person development they have to really develop they have to really study the skill sets to get better right because when i first came in i was a three-star player when i and i'm, I'm, I'm break that down I'm break that down but that's pretty much that and, and I'm, I'm saying this to say is this guys because if you are a two-star player most most of the time you know you might have a big goal but if you are a two-star player you're going to bring in a bunch of two-star players, a bunch of one-star players. And one-star player come, comes into your organization and they don't do anything. They don't do nothing, nothing, right? And you bringing in a bunch of one- to two-star players, what that does is that makes it a, a longer period of time for you to get to your goal and get your goal done, right? But if you're a three-star player, you know, three-star players bring in a a, a, a lot of three-star players. The, the good thing about three-star players, they bring in people of influence. They bring in people that's trainable and coachable. And they bring in a whole bunch of, you know, three and two-star players, right? A whole bunch of three and three uh, and two-star players, right? And then we have the, and then we have the four-star players, right? See, with the four-star players, you know, this is where I'm at right now, personally. See, four-star players are individuals, uh, you know, when you're a four-star player, you're gonna make you're gonna go chairman. You're gonna make six figures plus when you're a four-star player because four-star players are very very good at what they do. Four-star players are students of the game. Four-star players are they can be very humble. They can be very very humble, right? The positive things about a four-star player they produce very well, right? They set the example very well, right? They 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 you know when 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 a mentor hit them up or a leader hit them up and asked them to do something. You know, they're going to look at them crazy because a four-star player, they can take initiative without nobody. That's the thing with a four-star player. Four-star players are very coachable, right? Four-star players, they bring in a bunch of three-star players and a bunch of two-star players. They, no, they bring in a bunch of three-star players and they can bring in a bunch of four-star players, right? So when you become a four-star player, the thing with a four-star player that can cripple a four-star player is, you see, when they start having success, and they, and, 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 and they start help, helping a lot of individuals, you know, have success. The thing with a four-star player is this. A four-star player can get crippled because they can let the me and the I vibe and they can let the me, 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 all about me and all about my team get to their head. And that, that you know, them doing that, they can let edification get to their head. And then them letting edification get to their head, you see what happens is this. They can cripple their success and they can get put out the game because of ego. That's what can cripple a four-star player. They are very good at what they do, but the ego can get to their head and the ego can put them on the sideline, right? So cool, I hope, I hope this is making sense. I hope this is making sense. So this is the thing. If you wanna go from, this is the thing too. If you wanna go from, two, from being a two-star player to a three-star player, right, to a four-star player, because I started off as a two, three-star player, two and a half, three-star player, a thousand percent facts, right? And what I'm saying is, is this, guys, you, it, all it takes is time. Time is things I must experience, guys. Leadership is not developed in a day. It's developed day by day, 
daily, guys. See, one thing you have to understand what, you know, um, if you have a vision for something, you have to give yourself time to grow into a vision. You have to, you have to, you have to give yourself time to grow into a vision. Guys, leadership is developed in a day by day. It's not developed in a day. It's not. So, so when it comes to that, if you want to increase your influence, you know, if you're a two-star player, only thing you have to do is just you have to work on yourself and give out value every single day if you want to become a three-star player. Because if you don't get to the point where you go from two-star player to three-star player and become a person of value, what that means is, guys, you're going to always bring in a bunch of two-star players. Because think about this. If I'm a four-star player, would I want somebody that's a two-star player or a three-star player to lead me? No. The odds of that is no. Because... A four-star player follow individuals, you know, that's 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 uh that 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 really really pours into them. Like, you know, Riyad Jones, he's a five-star player, and I'm gonna get into that uh in a second. But this is the thing: the difference between a three-star player and a four-star player is this. The difference between a three-star player and a four-star player is this. See, let's just compare this to football. You see, a see when a three and a four-star player get on the field, see the th th difference between the three and the four-star player, a four-star player knows that they the man. See, they don't hope a four-star player when they get on the field, they know they don't they know that they demand. they have a level of confidence, they have a level of certainty that a three-star player doesn't have. See, a three-star player when they get on the field, they don't know that they demand, right? See, a four-star player can look you dead in your eyes and have certainty and know that they, they know that know that they demand. See, that's the, they have a, a different level of confidence, they have a different level of certainty. That's the difference between the three-star player and the four-star player. Thousand percent facts, right? And then you have the, the five-star players. See, the five-star players are individuals like Rhea Jones, individuals like Martin Luther King, individuals like LeBron, like Kobe. You see, a five-star player is just, you know, they just good at everything that they do, right? People follow them just because who they are, and people follow them just because of what they've done in people's lives, right? Far beyond business, far beyond money. Like, you know, to be a five-star player, you have to really impact people and, and really change their lives. I'm talking about you. You. I'm talking about you have to really impact them and really change their lives. You see the difference. Be, see with a five star player. You know people talk about you good when you're in the room, but see people talk about you better when you out the room. That's that's when you know that you're a five star player. People talk about you better when you're not around. They talk about oh man, this is so and so man. They, this person changed my life. That that that's called the pinnacle level of leadership, guys. That's individuals like David. That's individuals like Riyadh. That's individuals like Bryce. But to get to the pinnacle level of leadership, it takes years to, to get to that point. It takes years to get to that point. So I want you to write this down, guys. See, three to four, three to four, four star, no, four, four star players in your, in your organization. Four four star players in your organization, you're making hundred thousand dollars a month. No, I'm sorry, five star players. See, no, yeah. So three to four four star players in your organization in 2021, you'll be making hundred thousand dollars a month. You, you'll be make you'll be a millionaire bare minimum when you have three to four four star players in your organization. Right. So that's why I said it take years to get to that point, right? Three to four four star players, you'd be making a million. You'd be making a million dollars a year, a hundred thousand dollars a month, guaranteed. So what I'm saying is this: I broke that down to let you guys know this. See, I broke that down to to, to specifically give you guys perspective. See, this is the thing, guys. See, leadership boils down to two things, guys: it's belief and leadership. See, yo, your ability to blow up is gonna boil down to two two things: your belief and leadership. See, think of, uh, and again, this is a leadership call, a thousand percent facts. This is a leadership call. It's not a trading call. Think about this. Do you ever hear Riyadh, did you ever see Riyadh Jones doing a, doing a trading call? Do you ever see Bryce doing a trading call? Do you ever see David doing a trade? No, because they understand that it boils down to two things, belief and leadership. See, customers need customer support. Leaders need leadership development. See, you, de you develop yourself to connect with leaders. But if you never study leadership and you're in a leadership position, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna, yes, you're gonna, you're gonna develop customers instead of developing leaders. 20% of people is gonna do 80% of the work. Because if you have to do everything yourself, what that means is, you know, 
you're not empowering people around you. And that's what leadership is all about. But if this is making sense, if y'all feeling me, drop some sevens in the chat box, right? I just thought I had to, you know, break that concept down to you all. I thought I had to break that concept down to y'all so, so you can really understand the difference. Biggest thing, that's that's a fact, big boys. And, 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 and I'm saying this to say, and I'm saying this to say because it makes sense. It makes sense, guys. I'm, I'm gonna break a couple things down to you all. It's about, see, when you keep your energy high, see, when you, this thing, see, the reason as a leader why you have to lead by example is because not everybody, you know, is a leader. You know, they have the ability to become a leader, but they're not a leader because they don't, they don't have the confidence, right? That's why they students. So what you have to know is this, as a leader, you have to, that's, that's why we say show up to events, right? Because, you know, you have to show up to the events and things like that and find ways to stay inspired because it's thing. Inspiration, inspiration stands for um, in spirit. Why do you think David and them talk about the Bible so much? Because of everything, a lot of stuff, and I'm, I'm not getting biblical. I'm not getting biblical a thousand percent. Why do you think they talk about the Bible so much? Because business and business, you're gonna have high highs, you're gonna have low lows. High high, it, it happens every single year. Hundred percent facts. You have momentum in one season, you have momentum in the other seasons. You have momentum in one season, you have momentum in another season. That's how that's how that that's how business works. A thousand percent facts. So the reason they talk about the Bible so much is because it's like. It relates back to business. That's why they be at peace so much. So if if you and this thing, the greatest leaders to ever walked the earth is Jesus. I'm not gonna get biblical. I'm not here to get biblical, but I'm just saying the greatest leaders to ever walked the earth was you know, Jesus. So the a lot of things that he been through, a lot of stories that's in the Bible that they talk about, it, it's the same thing in business. An example is this: see, when you're a leader and, and, and you're focusing on producing to set an example, you probably feel like you by yourself. That's entrepreneurship. You probably feel like you probably feel like you by yourself. See, what did Jesus do? He served, right? He sacrificed. See, in leadership, you're gonna have to serve, you're gonna have to sacrifice. You're gonna have to endure a lot of things. See, what I'm saying is, is this, guys. It says this in the Bible: a prophet is not honored in their own hometown amongst their friends and family members. So when you are building your business, just know that that's common. It happens to Aiden, it happens to Turbo, it happens to me, it happens to Aaron. That's normal so if people around you don't understand it, that's normal but how do you get people to listen belief this business boils down to two things leadership and belief see as a leader leaders know how to create the belief see once you create the belief there's the momentum you want momentum in your business create the belief create the success stories stop waiting on it to happen create the success stories get people paid get people results momentum and when you have momentum, people's believing. And when more people believe, guess what? Boom, it blows up. But if you're not getting people results, if people isn't getting paid, if you're not celebrating people, no, no belief. Now you're just thinking like a customer and not a leader. See, customers don't know how to, they don't know this stuff, but leaders know this stuff. See, leaders know how to create the belief. See, everybody's excited when everybody's believing, but when nobody's believing, nobody's excited, they're quiet. They don't even show their face on the Zoom calls. Think about it. See, you know you got high energy when you show your face. And I, I, I y'all good, y'all gotta show y'all face. Y'all gonna, don't have to show y'all face, but I, I hope y'all picking up what I'm putting down, guys. Just know that, that's that. So I just thought I had to break that down so you guys can get a different perspective change and just know like it's it's normal. Pe it's all shots by yeah, it's normal. So that's pretty much that. So, and I was saying this to say is this, guys. It takes 90 days to um create momentum. It takes 90 days create to create momentum. Cause I'm gonna tell you guys this. I'm gonna tell you guys this. I seen it happen time after time after time after time after time at the time. Guys, I guarantee you by February, March. The same thing you saw last year is going to be the same thing, guys. I don't know if you guys know, but um, the thing is this, guys. Um, I want to break down. I want to give you guys a blueprint. So if you're a leader, so you got to go back to square one. And square one is this, guys. Square one is this. Square one is this. You want to focus on personally. I'm going to say you want to focus on personally going platinum 1,000 again. You want to focus on personally going platinum one. And this is a leadership call. And I'm going to tell you why. You want to personally focus on going platinum 1000 again 
And the only reason why I'm saying you want to focus on person going to apply to 1,000 again is because if you want the momentum to come, you have to create the momentum, right? And how you do that by that is this, guys. You need to, and again, to go platinum 1,000, you personally sponsor, sponsor 10 to 12 people. And out of those 10 to 12 people, you identify four people. You help two go platinum 600 and two go platinum 150. You just produce a platinum, you just went platinum 1,000. And, and that's the first leadership position because it's the thing. If you can go platinum 1,000, which is extremely easy, and this is the thing, when you go platinum 1,000, what does that make you? That makes you in a position to become a three-star player. Because when you become platinum 1,000, you have the blueprint and you know how to help other people go platinum 1,000. And if you help seven to 10 other people go platinum 1,000, which is easy, guess what? That makes you become a solid three-star player. See, when, when you, you're a solid three-star player when you can develop two other platinum 1,000s. When you can develop two other platinum 1,000s, you're a solid three-star player. You a solid four star player where you can develop five plus 10. You a solid four star player. Right. So, and I'm saying this because I had to backtrack my success because last year, um, every single month, I was personally going platinum 600 and we was producing platinum 1000, like three platinum 1000s a month. Right. We was, we was producing um, three platinum 1000s a month. You know, I personally, uh, I personally help over 10 to 12 people go platinum 1000 personally personally so when you get good at focusing and, and and that's only gonna happen when you when you have laser focus that's only gonna happen when you focus on your lane and what you know you need to be doing as a leader right and when you do that it's gonna build up consistency but you have to produce something in order for something to be reproduced right so that's that's pretty much that though so you want to personally sponsor uh 12 10 to 12 people a thousand percent facts and um and i'm about to i'm about to mess y'all heads up so I, so that's that so, and I'm gonna give you guys a, a, on how you guys gonna do that. So a couple things is this, guys. I wanna say this, guys. So you wanna write this down. We have two major events that's happening um, in the next couple of weeks. So January 30th, we're gonna have um, the Atlanta. Now I'm, I'm gonna get to that towards the end. Somebody remind me, Aaron, remind me towards the end of the call. Remind me towards the end of the call. But I wanna talk about this. So to be able to actually do that, you want to focus on giving out value. See, as a leader, if you're not giving out value on your, this thing, if you're an entrepreneur and you're not giving out value on social media, on no social media platforms, nobody's going to know who you are. Like, this is the thing. Yes, you're working on personal development all day, but you are an entrepreneur. So if you're not giving out value on Instagram Live, you reach a lot of people through Instagram Live, Facebook Live, through videos, through you like interacting, but if you're not interacting with your audience and they not getting to know you as a person, how are you supposed to go platinum 1000? It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. And it's the thing, your network, they 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 not used to personal development. How did I blow up, JV? I had to back my tra- backtrack my success. Your network is the world. They don't think like the 3%, the 2%, the 1% because they're not investing like you're in an investment vehicle. If you give out value and you and you you say this, this is what I used to do. I would intentionally watch intent people on YouTube. I would take notes on what they do and I would spit that information back out to my network. I would intentionally watch, watch Bob Proctor and I would give out value every day. I stay consistent for, for, for 90 days straight. After that, guys, I built so much trust with my network, people listen. They didn't care what I did. They see people would, would, would join me and, and they would join me just because of the value that I brought to the table. They didn't care what I did. See, you have to understand when you're entrepreneurship, if you're not giving out value, this is the thing you die twice in life. You die when you actually die and when the last time your name get mentioned. See, as an entrepreneur, you never want to let your name not get mentioned. See, if your name's not coming up in conversations, you're not giving out enough value. That's deep. Sheesh, that's deep. So what I'm saying is, guys, when you when you when you do that and then you talk about what you do, it's gonna make it easier for you to sponsor 10 to 20 people, 10, 10 to 12 people. Cause I'm not gonna give you guys a game plan without giving you guys a blueprint, right? So that, that's pretty much that. That's pretty much that. And um, how you do that is this. I want to break down a couple more other things. See. See, <clears throat> the thing is this, guys, No, another thing too, nobody will ever drop out your organization. I'm going to tell you why. See, one thing I noticed last year was this, guys, um, and I can say this with a lot of individuals. 
And you never fail if you never quit. You never you see it's you see failure. See the bigger you, the faster you fail, and the bigger you fail, the faster you be able to get to where you want to go. A thousand percent facts. A hundred percent facts. See, one thing I noticed in the past with forex is this, guys, and you and you guys have to implement this too. You have it starts with two. When people come in your organization, you want to write this down. You can you need you need to you can guarantee people that they're gonna make money their first day to their first two days. That's one thing you have to guarantee. You can make the money with income within their first day to their first two days being plugged in. But the system is this, guys. You have to leverage the system. When a person gets started, you have to plug them into Millie Mills, um, D.O. Woods, and Matthew Thayer. Don't have them go through the academy their first month. Let them go. And, I, and, I'm, and just listen, I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. This is coming from Chairman 100s to Chairman 250s. I'm not talking about trading right now. I'm talking about, yeah, directions for you to plug them into a system. That's that. So when you do that, you have them go through the favorite videos the first month. You have them watch those favorite videos the first month. And you give them options. And you let them choose the best educated who they who they relate to the most with HFX. And um, with that, you teach them Cash Trap 2.0. The first time that they come in, you as a person that's bringing them in, write this down. You are not their mentor. You are their coach. The go live educators are their mentors. Only thing that you do as a leader, you're providing a service to your customers. The customers is the people on social media. They're customers. Customers need customer support. Leaders, IBOs need leadership development. It's a difference. You are not their mentor. You are their coach, right? You have to understand the difference between mentorship and coaching. Mentorship means I develop you. Coaching means I point you in the right direction. Right. So when they get started, you want to you want to make sure that you implement the first day that you teach them the discipline plan. You teach them, make sure that, you know, within the first two, three days, you teach them cash shop 2.0. You do an hour session with them, teaching them cash shop 2.0, not rushing. And then you have them set a screen and you have them place a couple of trades in front of your face. Them first starting. The reason why you want to do that is because it is, guys, is understanding it. it, it and this thing, another thing, too. Coming in, guys, I want you guys to change you guys' mindset. It doesn't matter if you make a person $10, $20, $30 for it, $100. It doesn't matter. See, remove that thought process when it comes to, you know, building a business. It's not about how much money you make somebody. No. It's about if you, if you can help that person become profitable and help them get results. Become profitable and get results, right? And help them understand what they're doing. Because when, this is the thing. People only care about them understanding. People only care about learning and people care about believing. And you also need to show them how to use the compound discipline plan before they plug into go live, before they use cash shop 2.0. This is the thing, the 10, 12 people you plug in to go platinum 600. This thing, don't have them plug into the educators. Don't have them use cash shop if they not educated on the discipline plan. They need to know that they risk in two to 3% a day. They need to know that they looking to gain five to 10% a day. That should be the first thought process with before they even touch the education. Because this thing, if you program them that way, think about it. Who is going to ever drop out your business? Who's going to ever drop out your organization? Who's going to drop out your organization? Talk to me. Who? Who's going to drop out your... No one. Because it's, if they risk in 3%, who's going to drop out in 30, 30 days? Who's going to say it doesn't work? Nobody. See, I realize one thing is this. See, if you want to create momentum, it's all about belief. It's all about belief. It doesn't matter if a person put $100 in their account, $10 in their account, $50 in their account. We honor all income. We honor everything because we know that they're not going to blow their account. And this is the thing. If they blow their account, look, if they blow their account, that's like a slap on a slap on their hand. Why is it a slap on their hand? It's a slap on their hand because you showed them, but they didn't listen. You showed them, but they didn't listen. So that they're not going to be upset. They're not going to be upset. See, I'm saying this to say, guys, you have something that works. You just have to work it in the way of doing things in a certain order, guys. And um, when a person get in there 5 to 10% a day, guess what? Once you show them the first time and they plug in, you're not going to have to baby that person. You're not going to have to baby them because guess what? You showed them what to do. Now you can let them go and let them do their own things. Now, every time you're talking to, to them, yo, the conversation is, hey, look, I lost my 3% today. Or um, I gained my five to ten percent today. That's it. That's all. 
right? So that's the conversations, guys. Nobody will ever drop out your organization. The second thing, you're going to start seeing way more people getting withdrawals. And then if a person making five to 10% a day, somebody dropped the word in the chat box. What does that do to a person? If a person's earning five to 10% a day, what does that do to a person? Come on. If a person's earning five to 10% a day, you help that person, you help them understand they're making five to 10% a day. What does that do long-term? It increases their belief system. Guess what? Everybody is a leader, but they only a leader when their belief system is strong. That increases their belief system. See, if a person make the five to ten percent a day, that increases their belief system in they self, and that increases their belief system in the, in, the, in the opportunity that you got them plugged into. And guess what else that it, that, that it does? It builds up the credibility with the person that brought them in. It builds up the credibility with the person that brought them in. And guess what? When a person's belief system and they're believing, guess what? That makes it easy for you to help that person go platinum 150. Why don't they care about going platinum 150? Because they're seeing results every day. And guess what? They're, they're not going to be upset with sharing, it, sharing this opportunity with their network because, it's, because they're successful in it. Success is not, write this down, success is not an amount of money. Success is the progressive realization of a worthy idea. So they're successful when they're earning five to ten percent a day because they're they're progressing towards a worthy idea. That's what success is. You got to change the thought process. So they're not gonna have a problem getting launched. They're not gonna have a problem talking about the business. Why? Because their belief system is high. The second thing is this. Guess what? When that person goes platinum one hundred and fifty, guess what that person's gonna do? They're gonna do the same thing that you did for them with they three. Nobody's dropping out the business because everybody's risking three to three percent to gain five to ten percent a day. Everybody's plugging into that go live educators. Everybody's using Cash Shop 2.0. How's your business gonna 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 hit a backflow? Guys, that's how you create momentum and that's how you do things the correct way, right? And I'm only saying that to say, you know, two reasons why people drop out is because they say they're not making money, and the second reason is um they say they don't they don't make withdrawals. That's a lie because anybody that comes to Forex, they might make money, but they might lose money just because they never use risk management. That's a fact. They might keep funding accounts their first month just because they never use risk management. That's a fact. So what I'm saying is how do you knock out two birds with one stone? The discipline plan. That was, a, that was the one missing link that you was missing. So now that's pretty much that, guys. That's pretty much that. When it comes, if, this, if that made sense, drop some threes in the chat box. We're going to go ahead and close out pretty shortly. But that's 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 that that's the thinking process, guys. That's literally the thinking process. So you don't have to be upset. You don't have to be upset with talk with, without with you know about talking about certain things because it works. You just have to do things in a certain way to get to where you want to go, right? And this is not coming from our thoughts. These are coming from people that's 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 millionaires and what it is that we do, right? So that's the thought process, and um, that's the system that you want to run with you know, to go platinum 1000. I truly believe that, you know, if you guys, you know, really stay focused and you guys really do what you guys know you need to be doing every single day, you can build your influence up. And at the same time, you can go platinum 1000, right? Um, so that's pretty much that. Last thing I want to talk about is this, guys. There's two events going on um, in the next couple of weeks. So um, C. John have an event in Atlanta, Georgia on June, on January 30th. It's going to be a one-day event. So if you want to leverage that event, um, to get your network there, definitely re uh, definitely recommend you leveraging that. I'm going to be there because I'm going to be a speaker there. But we have an event where Retire Rich, and that event is going to be February 22nd. That's the main event. So if your people can't make it to the, the event on the 30th, not a big deal. But, you know, you still want to leverage it because uh, events, again, what do events do? Events build your belief system. This business is built off of two things, leadership and belief, period. Leadership and belief, period. No, it's going to be February 22nd. That's the main event. It's going to be Lifestyle Leap uh, 2, Reloaded. And um, that event is going to be lit a thousand. It's going to be lit a thousand percent. And um, if you guys don't know, the vision for the organization, for the, for the overall organization, we're looking to aim for about 18 to 20 chairmen this, this year. Within the whole Retire Rich organization, the goal is that they are uh, aiming for 15 to 20 brand new chairman tens and above. Bare minimum uh, within our organization, guys, we're looking to have about uh, 10 chairmen in our organization this year. And it's going to happen a thousand percent. Just know that, guys, it's about to be a lifestyle leap a thousand percent. And I'm, you know, I'm not saying this to, you know, 
say it, but I just want to say it's about to be a lifestyle leap for every leader that's connected to the organization. And I'm saying this to say that, you know, I'm about to go ahead and actually move, you know, my condo. And again, I'm, I chose San Diego. So I'm about to move to San Diego, back to San Diego, because that's a lit place. Skip Chicago, skip Atlanta, all this. I'm moving back to San Diego. And um, just know that, you know, if you're a leader in the organization, you're going to fly out a thousand percent. So it's going to be a lifestyle leap for everybody. Just know that. And I'm saying that to say that when I was Platinum 2000, when I moved in my, you know, condo at, at uh, Platinum 2000, that helped me go chairman very fast, very fast. Because when I did that, guys, you want to write this down. 95% of people are searching for the impression of increase. 95% of people are searching for the impression of increase. See, when you give off the impression of increase, again, it's energy. What that does is people listen very well, people listen very well, and people, they don't care what you do because they just inspire. Inspiration is the highest human act, a thousand percent. So what I'm saying is, guys, see what you do now is going to stick and quadruple in the next 30 days. So, you know, with that being said, guys, one more thing I want to say is this. Um, if you guys see the causes going on in the group chat, um, you know, like the trading calls or the uh, cash shop calls and things like that, you know, if you if you consider yourself a leader, you want to make sure that you you show up and learn how to do it again independently from from JVL, <clears throat> independently from Aaron. You don't want to be dependent on JVL and Aaron. You don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna leverage, but you don't want to do that. You want to let the system become a part of you. Because it's, again, leadership is, is about empowering other leaders. If you can't do anything outside of your mentor, that means that, you know, you're not growing into the leader, you know, you, need, you know, you know, you know, you know, you need to be doing. So if I was you, Andre, you know, Aiden, you know, I would show up and I will learn it. So, you know, you can get to the point where you can do it, you know, with, without us. Right. So with that being said, guys, it's pretty much everything. I didn't want to be long at all, but I did want to be strong. Um, if you guys want to study leadership, you guys can study somebody named uh, John C. Maxwell. Um, John C. Maxwell and David Amenita, they, they teach very well on leadership, but just don't study leadership, guys. This season is the season where um, this, this is this is the season. Another thing, so I want to talk about relationship building real quick, too, and I'm almost done. I'm done. Guys, the thing is this, guys. Um, I got individuals that I've been building relationships with for the past three years, like individuals I've been doing for three years straight. And, um, and I'm saying that to say that guys, don't just build relationships with people just to get them in your business. No, don't, don't. That's thinking very small, very, 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 very small. Don't do that. See, when it comes to your network, don't go from a place of I'm trying to recruit them. You're, you're not, don't think like any other organization. No, Guys, genuinely pour value on a daily basis. And um, this is how you gain influence. You gain influence by intentionally adding value to people on a daily basis. Like I said, intentionally. When you intentionally add value to quality people on a daily basis, that raises your influence with them to listen to you. Facts. So with that, um, you want to build genuine relationships. If you got people that's watching you, hit them up. Why do you watch me on Instagram? Why do you, why do you follow me? Hit them up in their DMs and in their mindset. If you post about your business all day, they only thinking that you that you're gonna hit them up about business. That's a fact. So you do this by you hit them up from an aspect of yo, I'm I'm genuinely trying to connect with you from a person because some of y'all be thinking that guys, y'all literally have people not replying to y'all because y'all just post about y'all business all day and because you just post about your business, people not gonna join your business without you getting to know them. So I need y'all to change your mindset. And connect with people from the aspect of yo you yo you follow me why do you follow me let's connect what do you do like things like that you gotta have confidence right and stop being scared to build relationships with real people like get to know them right and this is the thing when you build a relationship with them they already in your business they already in your business why because they follow you for a reason they get in value it's just a matter it's only a matter of time it's only a matter of time that's it that's all guys they'll come when they ready especially if they've been exposed because they follow you for a reason Right. So that's one thing you got to keep in mind and just know, just 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 switch it up, guys, a thousand percent, because I was telling Turbo about this the other day. I'm like, bro, you got four thousand followers. And um, if you post something on your story just about the business, you're going to get people that's in the business just to watch your story. So I'm like, bro, why would you got four thousand followers? Just know that everybody's not thinking about your business. So if you if you post different things, you're going to have different people that's watching your story because they thinking about that. Guys, social media is a search engine. It's a search engine for your thoughts. If you think about 
a, a Bentley, everybody is thinking about a Bentley going to watch your story for the day when they click on social media. You got to learn how to think, guys. When you learn how to think, you'll know how to communicate very, very well with people because communication is the number one skill that leaders possess, guys. So with that being said, that's pretty much everything. I didn't want to be long at all, but I did want to be strong. Um, if it, anybody needs this call as well, too, I'm going to upload this to my YouTube and I'm going to drop the link in the chat box or just hit me for it as well, too. So with that being said, let's get it, guys. Let's have a productive week and I'm going to see y'all at the banks.